Welcome back craft beer lovers. Um, doing a quick review on a beer I haven't had for a long time. Um, it's from Four Pines and it's a pale ale. Actually arrived in uh, a kit um, or a pack this uh, month which was uh, from Four Pines. It's part of their Christmas pack but this one is um, available all year round as, as their core range. Um, like I said, haven't had it for a while um, and always good to revisit a beer. Um, this is an American style pale ale, which is one of my favourite styles. Um, so yeah, I said haven't had it for a while. Always good to revisit. Um, that's what it looks like. That's it in a glass. <coughs> sort of a light amber colour. Good head, good head retention. Sweet. Perhaps a little bit of mosaic. Nice and dry actually. Um, sometimes pale ales can, especially the current style and the typical Australian styles and some of the East Coast styles, <coughs> very fruity, very florally, very sort of passion fruity, <coughs> can be overdone citrusy. Um, <coughs> that's actually nice for a bit of a change to that, although I'm quite fond of that style of pale ale. Um, this is quite nice. Um, it's actually yeah, sort of honey coloured, head still there. Got a bit of body to it. So that's the thing I like about American style pale ales, as opposed to some of the lighter fruitier ones, is tend to get a little bit more malt, <coughs> a little bit more honey, a little bit more mouthfeel in them. Um, <coughs> the other style, a fruitier, fresher, lighter mouthfeel, great beers, don't get me wrong, absolutely love smashing those and especially as we're coming into summer, very drinkable, great barbecue beer, all that sort of stuff. But I like the depth of flavour with some of the American pale ales that just have that little bit more uh, malt characteristic, a little bit more balance, not so hopped, you know, more even malt profile. Um, I find that they can, they suit a bigger range of conditions, whereas the, you know, those floral pale ales and, and really light refreshing ones are great for summer drinking on a hot day but it's not the sort of thing you're gonna you know drink over winter or perhaps have it with a you know a hearty meal so <coughs> um you know it's the same sort of style you look at something like a pirate life pale ale the blue can um same sort of beer as that you know um probably not quite as malty but you know sits nice nice way in between those sort of light freshing uh, refreshing fruity beers and something that's just a little bit more balanced. I'm surprised. I, I'm, you know, I've never really been a huge fan of Four Pines. I, I, I drank a lot of the bit, or I drank their beers early on. I guess haven't been back for a, a while, um, but somebody put me back onto their Amber Ale, and uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, it's got a bit of mosaic and a nice malt characteristic as well. Um, and as I said, haven't had this one for a while. Um, and yeah, quite happy with it. So uh, if you haven't had it uh, at all, or you haven't had it for a while, or you like an American pale ale with a little bit more sort of malt or body to it than a traditional pale ale, go out and get it, because uh, it's pretty good. Cheers, remember, life's too good to drink bad beers. Cheers.